Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 19 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Leonardo Santos! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And they touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? Oh. All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Punch over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, big left hand there. Big kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, 
Spinning back fist out of nowhere. Just out of range with the big right hand. Got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't need too many more of those. Cannot. You got to be the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. So he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Santos gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. That was a cutting leg kick. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man, head to land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Nice defense there. Huge block. Just misses there with the left. Gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back to range. Found a home for that knee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. There he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Well, it's one thing to have length. That's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Lee gets hit cut, by that cut, leg cut. kick. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponent because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Good, 
Keep the pressure on him. You're doing great here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Hands high. Santos gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Beautiful body kick. Good stick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Unable to connect with a right hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Santos's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Great punch. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, start, he'll change his stance. Back to the jab now, no good. He loaded up on that right hand too. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Santos' strike attempt there is blocked. Liver kick. Connects with a right. Big head kick lands. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Nice strike. Relax, relax. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Santos. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Lee. Huge block there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice punch there by Santos. Oh, nice. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Real quick leg kick. Beautiful right punch. Follows it up with the left. Look at the turnover in that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Edwards with a crisp right hand there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You gotta dig deep here. Throws the right hand there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. World of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high. And now he's out for a match. Strong defense there to block the shot. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round. DC, a lot of effective kicks there to the bottom. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick 
right into his opponent's body. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for the time. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Nice punch, Lance. on that offering. Nice job of hiding it. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice straight punch. Back and forth we go. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of age. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice head kick. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Santos gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Ooh, what a punch. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He missed with that jab attempt there. here. Santos's elbow attempt here. That one blocked by the defense. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh!
All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body kick. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Santos. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Right punches there. Real sneaky body kick. Landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Great punch landed with so much power. Big power shot there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Right under the elbow, by the plane. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything.